Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we are going to be doing the super easy hand-painted composition book tumbler. This is a great last minute gift for any teacher or student. So let's get to it. Today I'll be using this hog 20 ounce modern curve tumbler that I purchased through the Stainless Depot, but please feel free to use any type of tumbler you have on hand. I'm gonna prep that tumbler and I'm gonna paint it this two times ultra cover paint primer from Rust-Oleum and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. It took about 15 minutes for the paint to dry on my tumbler. Now I'm just gonna be using any type of black acrylic paint. I have a plastic bag and I also have a paper plate that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tumbler onto its wand so that way I can easily paint my tumbler. Now I'm just going to take my black paint and put it onto my plate real quick. Once I finally manage to uh, get, oh there we go, there's the paint. <laughs> now that my paint is on my paper plate, I'm going to take my plastic bag and I'm going to bunch it up really good into my hand. You just want it real, real crinkly. There you go, that's the word, crinkly. <laughs> you just want to make sure you have all those little little divots and crinkles in your bag. Now it's just as simple as dabbing it onto your paint, just kind of removing just a little bit because you don't want it too, too thick on there. And then just dabbing it up and down onto your tumbler. Now you want to make sure that you don't smush it side to side because then it'll kind of smear that acrylic. So just up and down tapping motions with your plastic bag and paint. Now I'm just going to continue doing this completely around my tumbler, making sure that I also hit the bottom as well until I get that desired look that I am after. Now back when I was seven years old, PBS always had art shows on every day. <laughs> so I have to really thank PBS for showing me all these neat tricks that I kind of know how to do these days. <laughs> If it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't know how to use a plastic bag to give that, that sponge look. Now, again, you can use a sponge, you can use a plastic bag, it, it doesn't matter. Now, you guys might remember, you, you might still have it, I don't know, but having a sponged wall was really in back in the 90s, so, you know, I, I think PBS had a lot to do with that, so. <laughs> so now you guys know where I went to art school just sitting on my floor as a kid watching PBS. That's where I went to art school. <laughs> so after I'm done with this, I'm gonna let it sit and dry while I get the vinyls ready. I went on to Etsy and I found a template for a composition book. I'll make sure to put where I got that in the description below for you guys. Now, it did come with um, all the lettering and stuff already on there, but I wanted to do all vinyl because this looked more like you could probably do a water slide over it but I wanted to do it all vinyl. So I'm gonna go on here and I'm just gonna use the backing that I purchased and I'm gonna just type up uh, new lettering and I'm gonna make myself some new lines. And as you can see for the lines, all I did was take this the square that's already available. I'm gonna make it the thickness that I'd like. I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm just gonna highlight it and line everything up and make sure it looks okay. Now I decided to change the font you don't have to, like I said, it's completely up to you. Now I picked out this one, that one was called Homework. I purchased, or I didn't purchase, I got them off to font, but I used, I ended up using one called Felt Pen, and I'll make sure to put that in the description below too if you'd like to use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squish all that together, get it all lined up real good. And then I'm also going to put my name in that same um, font that I used for the composition book part. The next thing I'm gonna do is highlight everything and then I'm gonna size it to the size that I would like. I did it about almost three and a half inches wide. And I'm gonna highlight the composition book in lines and make sure they're attached so that way they stay together when we cut. Then I'm gonna type up my name separate because my name is gonna going to be a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that put together, make sure it's on there really well. And then I almost forgot the border around <laughs> the uh, label here. So I went ahead and I pulled that. That came with um, this stuff that I bought off Etsy as well. So I went ahead and pulled that onto my Cricut. 
Now I just want, I just looked at what size my white label is and I just matched that up with my border and there she is. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna make sure that it wants to be cut, not printed. And then I'm going to change everything black so that way I can cut it all on one board. Now that we have that all done, we are ready to move on to our board. Now you just wanna line everything up with the coordinating colors. So anything black is gonna go over here. My name is gonna, going to be pink and then my white label in the center. And you just wanna make sure you line all those colors up on your board in the same fashion. Now that I have all my vinyls cut, I'm just going to peel the backings off and then we'll be ready to layer those up. Now, if you'd like to, you could go ahead and layer everything before you place it onto the tumbler. It's completely up to you, but this is how I chose to do it so that this is how I'm going to do it. The only thing I'm going to apply first is the border around my label, and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to place it onto my tumbler, and then I'm going to take the rest of it and put it on after uh, the label is applied. Now here, all I did was take my border and I started at the one side and I lined everything up really well and then just made my way across and it lined up perfect. I'm just gonna kind of smooth that out a little bit just to make sure there's no bubbles underneath anything and we will be ready to apply it to our tumbler. My tumbler is nice and dry and I just wanna choose an area that I'd like to place it and I think this area looks nice. So we're gonna go with this place right here. Now I'm going to take my main label and place that on first. Then I'm going to take the lettering, the composition book lettering with lines, and then I'm going to line that up inside of this label. And then I'm going to place my name on last. Now here I just kind of line it up, press it in the middle, and then just smooth it out side to side. As you can see there, there were some creases, but because of the way I'm pressing, they all smoothed out. So just start in the middle and smooth it all the way to the edge. I'm just going to do this a couple times around that label just to make sure that there's no air bubbles and that everything is down nice and smooth on the tumbler. Now these would make really great last minute gifts for a teacher or if you're a teacher and you wanna make them for your students, these are so simple to make. The, I mean, this is it, you, you apply your label and then you can just go ahead and give it its last coat and it's done. Now that I'm happy with how smooth that is, I'm gonna move on to the composition book and lines. Now I'm just going to make sure that's on my transfer tape really well, and then we will get it all lined up inside of that label. Once I have this all lined up where I'd like it, I'm going to just simply place it down and rub it on really well and make sure there's no bubbles and then we'll be ready to add my name onto it. Now I'm just going to grab my vinyl and put my name on and that's it. It's as easy as that. The hardest part was just making up that composition book label, but now you already have that in your Cricut, so it's all ready to go next time you need to use it for any other customers that would like a nice composition book tumbler. Now that that is all done, I'm going to give it a nice coat of clear coat before I put my epoxy on. I like to use the two time ultra semi gloss from Rust -Oleum. That's just what I purchased, so you can use whatever you'd like. Uh, I have my A and B all mixed up. I like to use Illum Light's Amazing Clear Cast. Now, because this is pretty much the only coat you're going to need, I'm going to do it up really thick. I'm going to make sure this is pretty much your flood coat here. So make sure you do it real thick and. That's it. She is good to go. Whether you take this and try to duplicate it, or you take it and make it into something completely your own, I hope that you guys had fun watching this tutorial today. Now, if you aren't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials, vlogs, or tips, and I will see you guys next time.